The ninth annual Boston Green Fest is less than a week away. Now, if you've never been there, it is the region's largest multicultural environmental music festival, and it features a showcase of innovation. Now, here are just like a few examples, okay? You can find out how salt, salt water and vinegar can be more powerful than bleach. You can test an electric car. You can discover ways to grow a mini farm in your own kitchen. And you can appreciate art and jewelry made from recycled materials. And of course, at this free event, you can experience live music and dance performances from more than 20 different countries while watching an eco-friendly fashion show. Very interesting. So turn off your AC. I know it sounds crazy with all this heat, but call your friends and neighbors and go explore Boston Green Fest. It takes place at Boston City Hall Plaza, Fannie Hall, and the adjacent Sam Adams Park next weekend. And to tell us more, we've invited Marcelo Ramirez Lascano. He is the Spanish Outreach Director for Boston Green Fest. Welcome to Revista. Hi, Alberto. How are you? Good. Now, should we do a little disclaimer here and let people know that you ended up at Boston Green Fest through... Oh, yeah, of course. Our in <laughs> internship at El Mundo. Okay, so just to get it clear. I'm very glad you're there. Yes, it's been fun. It's been a lot of work pulling off, pulling off an event like this. It takes a lot of work. We have a lot of interns working, and it sometimes can be very messy. Yeah. But it's definitely very fun to work with Karen. Uh, she's Karen now, now, Karen Weber, she's been here before. Yeah. She could be here today. Um, she's the founder of the Green Fest uh, nine years. Uh, she just doesn't stop working. She doesn't. It's, it's amazing. Like, I... I can call her at 12, at 1, at 3 a.m. And she's like, hey, Marcelo, what's up? Like, tell me. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe that because I get her emails at like 12 <laughs> 1. Um, all right, so so let's, uh, let, now it's uh, next week. So let's let folks know. We're going to put the information one more time up on screen. It's a three-day event at right over here, City Hall Plaza. Yeah, it's in um, City Hall in Fenway, and it's uh, adjacent to the Samuel Adams Park. Oh, yeah, Fenway Hall as well, yeah. yeah. So it's a three-day event. So uh, aside from the stuff I mentioned, what, what are you looking forward to? because this is your first year. Yes, right? this is my first year. Uh, this is a very interesting event. I can't believe uh, we're take, tackling so many angles of environmentalism in one place. We have art, we have music, we have science, we have education. Uh, one of uh, the things I, th I think is uh, most interesting about Greenfest is we're also very invested in education. Mm. We have on Saturday, uh, for students, uh, you should, we welcome them to go to a page and subscribe. Uh, there will be a ho over 100 students coming from India mm. to showcase and to explain what they're doing there. Uh, they're, the guy who is bringing them, uh, he has made uh, around 100 renewable uh, schools constructed recyc recy from recycled materials. From, um, they reuse all their water and create their own electricity. So it just it's yeah. a pretty amazing thing they've yeah. done. Now, le you get excited because, if I remember, we directed you that way because that's this is what you studied in school, yes, right? You're at, you're at Northeastern, right? I'm at Northeastern. I'm at Northeastern right now. I'm studying economics and environmental studies. So, yeah, the environmental piece was was what attracted you to Definitely. this. Definitely, yeah. yes. All right, so you could try, I, I read, you know, some of the stuff you could do. You could, uh, uh, an outdoor car, you can drive that. Um, there's so much stuff going on, but um, for folks who had never been there, what are kind of the attractions? Because it's an all-family thing, right? You, you yeah. get to learn, but have fun too. Yeah. So we have uh, Grupo Fantasia and we have Los Ciegos, El Los Ciegos El Barrio. Those are two of the live performances. Yeah, those are two of the live performances, which are pretty amazing. They go from Spanish and English, salsa, bachata, merengue, reggaeton, and Los Ciegos El Barrio include uh, rock, which is pretty... That's a different yeah, fusion. It is. Yeah. We also have Zumba, we have yoga, um, we have all, all sort of like amazing performances there. So you talked about the groups going back and forth in English. So you and I are going to do that now. Usted eh, empezó con el mundo Boston, se unió a esto porque te interesó. ¿Qué es lo que te interesó de Boston Green Fest? Para los, eh, por ejemplo, tu familia en Ecuador. Bueno, esta entrevista. lo que más me interesó es que un evento así es increíble ver cómo una persona sola organiza esto. O sea, ver cómo Karen pudo haber hecho de esto desde cero es increíble. Karen ¿no? Weber, que Karen es la fundadora. Weber. Sí, así es. Y los contactos que tiene y cómo ha hecho a través de esto de ir y tocar la puerta, decir como que, hello, demos el sponsorship, aquí estamos. Mm -hmm. Es sum sumamente increíble. ¿Y cómo tú le describes a tu familia o personas en, en español? ¿Qué es lo que es este festival? Un festival verde. Supongo. Bueno, es un festival de innovación verde. Okay. Es donde traemos todas las ideas que hemos tenido, eh, no solo en respecto a tecnologías y eh, reciclar y cosas así, sino también en las formas de hacer que el 
hacer que el mensaje vaya más allá, por medio del arte, por medio de la educación. La música. La música, exacto. Así que eso es Screenfest. Entonces, es tres días en, el, eh, en varias localidades, cerca de aquí mismo del estudio. Sí, es. City Hall Plaza. Venue ah, Hall y es el cerca del parque de Samuel Adams. Ok, tu primer año. ¿verdad? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que más te interesa este año? Bueno, hay esta fundación que se llama Buildings and Change. Uh -huh. eh, fue hecha por el CEO de Five Hour Energy. Esta fundación eh, quiere atacar al poverty desde un ángulo de innovación. Entonces, eh, ha hecho, eh, tiene muchas propuestas. Una es el, es el Rainmaker. Es un aparato que crea lluvia. ¿Y eso va a estar ahí? Eso no va a estar ahí. Okay. Pero lo que va a estar ahí de esta fundación es la una bicicleta que si pedaleas por una hora tienes energía para 24 horas. Okay. Eso que yo me voy a en la bicicleta. <risa> All right, Marcelo, gracias por venir acá. Un placer. Y nos vemos el próximo fin de semana Así aquí es. en la alcaldía. All right, when we come back, a young Latina getting her first taste of local politics. All the details right here on Revista Panas.